Hey, it's Jenny Layton with The Happy Gal, where we get organized to get rid of the chaos and the clutter so that we can have the kind of life we love. Okay, so this month we've talked a lot about organizing our paper. Some of you may have seen me last week on Fresh Living. I talked about three tips on how to organize your paper, and I ended up talking about this beautiful filing system called Freedom Filer. Well, there's been a ton of interest in Freedom Filer, and so I thought today I would tell you a little more about Freedom Filer so that you can find out if this is a system that's right for you. So in my three tips that I shared last week on Facebook and on the Organize Your Paper training that I've offered online, we learn everything that we need to do with our paper from the moment it comes in the door through the backpacks or from classes or from errands. We know what to do, where to put it, we know how to start to process it, but then it gets kind of tricky. What do we need to save? Where do we put it? How do we find it? Those are the kind of things that Freedom Filer will answer for you. So today, what I wanna do is show you how this amazing system, this Freedom Filer system, will tell you everything that you need to do with that leftover stuff that you're not sure what to do with. It's going to tell you where to put it, it's going to tell you how to find it, and it's going to tell you when it's time to get rid of it so you don't have all of that paper buildup that we get. I think you're going to love this system. So let me tell you exactly how it's going to do those things. And what I'm gonna do is just highlight the different categories of this system in answering those questions. So the first question is, what do I do with my paper? Where do I put it? I wanna show you a couple of examples about how Freedom Filer answers that question. Okay, so the first way that it tells you where to put your paper is by using these green folders. These green folders are for anything that is paid um, bills, statements, receipts, miscellaneous stuff that you're not quite sure what to do with. Do I save it? Do I not? I might need it. It's going to go in these green folders and I'm going to come closer and you can probably see that there are 12 folders January through December. So in the month of February, for example, right now it's February, when I walk in with mail or when I walk in from shopping, let's say I have a receipt to Walmart or you know I bought some new shoes and I might need to return them, I'm gonna put all of those things right in to the February file. When I go through my mail and I have um, statements and different things that I think I might need to refer to, papers from my kids, whatever it is that I'm thinking I might need to save, all of it is going to go into the month of February. All of it. We're not digging through the filing cabinet and making new files and needing to put things in a lot of different places. Just in one motion, as easy it is to just throw it all away, I'm actually gonna put it in the spot that it belongs in the month of February so that if I need it, I have it. So where does your paper go? A lot of it is gonna go in this green monthly section. Okay, that's one example of how Freedom Filer helps you know where to put your paper. The other example I'm going to show you is in the gray section. Okay, so if you can see, these are folders inside a little file, gray tabs. So do you remember last week when I told you that pile of papers that are on the counter that you don't want to get rid of because you're scared you might lose them and you, they're important papers, so you kind of keep them out so that you remember about them and remember to do them? I suggested that you put it in a separate little file somewhere out in the open in your kitchen or wherever you spend a lot of time, not all the way back in the office where you're not ever there, but really kind of where you're doing your main living. This is an action system. You can see this little file box is an action system. And Freedom Filer has the color gray, and that gray color is for your action tabs. So the way it works is when you get your Freedom Filer kit, you get some tabs that are printed and then you get some tabs that are blank. So you can use those blank tabs to print people's names. So this is where you can make your action system and have someone, everyone in the family will have their own little tab, okay? You'll know where to put your paper. You know that pile sitting on your counter? This is how Freedom Filer helps you know where to put it because your action system is already made up for you, okay? So two ways that Freedom Filer helps you know where to put your paper. Okay, let's talk about that next question that you have when it comes to your paper. How do you find it? I know we've all had experiences where we've been crazy because we haven't been able to find what we've needed and it's cost us a lot of time or money or energy. So I'm gonna share a couple of quick stories of times that I've needed certain documents and Freedom Filer has totally stepped up and saved the day. So we've all been in the situation, I think, when it's time to travel 
and you need your passport or maybe you need your child's birth certificate. We had one of those times where we needed the kid's birth certificate and I could not find it anywhere. This was pre-freedom filer days. Such a lot of stress and anxiety trying to go out of town the night before not being able to find that birth certificate and spending hours that I'd rather have been sleeping and packing trying to find that birth certificate. I bet we've had some examples, all of us, like that. One other one that's a really cool one that I love to share though happened several years ago. I was a freedom filer and we had a warranty for our vehicle that we had bought and never used. And when that expiration for that warranty came, we had a friend that said, you know, you can call the warranty company and get reimbursed up to half for that warranty if you don't use it, but you have to have the paperwork. So my husband turned to me and he's like, do you know where that is? And I said, yes, I do, <laughs> because it was put right in the spot in Freedom Filer that's reserved for policies and agreements. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the different colors within Freedom Filer that help you know exactly where to find that paper. And it really does help a ton. I think we got $1,000 from our um, warranty company because we were able to find that paper. So knowing how to find your paper really does save you a lot of stress, time, energy, and money. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about when it comes to knowing how to find your paper with Freedom Filer is the one that everybody can relate to right now. The light blue color is for taxes. So if right now you're going through the hassle and the headache of collecting receipts and reimbursements and all of those things that you need for taxes, know that Freedom Filer has such a great system for that. The light blue color, all, all year long, you're just filing right to where um, you're gonna need your tax paper to be. Every year, my husband will say, we need to file our taxes. Can you get me our tax information? And I will say, yes, I can. And that's how long it takes me. It's literally just grabbing the blue folders out of the file and I can give them my tax information. Okay, kind of nice this kind of time of year to be thinking of that. Okay, so that is one way that Freedom Filer helped you find your paper. Let me show you one other way that I just love. This is the orange tabs. The orange tabs are for policies and agreements and contracts and anything that needs to be updated. Okay, so let's talk about if you need to look at your insurance policy. Okay, so likely you would go to your file in your old system that has your insurance policy name on it or your insurance company name on the files and dig through all the statements and all of the paper and everything they send you and try to find that insurance policy. Well, in the remove replace section of Freedom Filer, this is only a place for policies, not for all of the statements. So if you need to find your health insurance policy, that's the only paper that's going to be in this file. You can instantly find those kind of things that you need, credit card agreements, loans and, and bank um, agreements, those kind of things, all are going to be in the orange section. And so it's easy to find that stuff instantly. You don't have to dig through a lot of stuff, okay? The next example I wanna tell you about is the red files. This is the permanent. And this is where everything that's important that's going to go that you're not going to want to lose, like permanent information for the people living in your home or permanent information for assets. This is where your birth certificates, social security cards, health records, religious records, all of that type of information that stays with the person through their life goes in this important red color that kind of indicates, you know, red is important, don't lose it, right? Um, anything that also stays with the life of an asset. So as long as you own your vehicle and if the title to your vehicle will be in the red section. So when you sell the car, then you can get rid of the title. But other than that, everything in the permanent section, it stays here forever. So you always know that these things that you're gonna need, these important documents, like a birth certificate or an, a social security card, you always know where you can find it. It's in the red folders, okay? So those are a few ways the Freedom Filer makes it so easy for you to know how to find your paper. Okay, the third thing we'll talk about quickly is when it's time to get rid of it. And I love this part of Freedom Filer. Does anybody have filing cabinets that are all full because you've hung on to so much paper and the idea of going through it and determining what you need and what you don't need just sounds awful. Or maybe you're on the other side of that and you don't save anything because you just don't have a filing system for it and you don't know what you need and what you don't, but you have this little bit of a concern that maybe you throw too much away. The cool thing about Freedom Filer is it really tells you how long you need to keep everything and it's easy to get rid of it when it's time to get rid of it. Let me go back to the green monthly files and tell you how this works with the green ones, for example. 
All right, I'm gonna hold this up really close. You can probably see that each folder has a month, but the top of it also has a strip that says odd year. Okay, these are my monthly folders for the odd year. So I also have a duplicate set of monthly folders for the even year, right? So you can see that little strip there. These files are going to rotate year to year. So check it out. It's February 2019. So anything that I put, that I bring into the house that I think I might need to save, a receipt or a paid bill or something is going to go into my February odd year folder, right? Because it's 2019. For the rest of 2019, I'm just going to keep filling up these folders. Okay, at the end of 2019, I'm gonna rotate these to the back of my filing cabinet because I don't need to look at them during an even year. I'll put them in the back. I'll pull my even year folders to the front. Now I have all of 2000 or 2020 that I can fill up information in, in my folders. At the end of 2020, so let's say now it's February, let's say we're back to February 21, 21. That's gonna be weird to say. February 21, 21, I'm gonna open up my February odd folder and it's gonna be full of stuff I put in there exactly two years ago in February 2019. Okay, here's what's so cool. Everything that went into these folders were already pre-screened to be have a two-year shelf life. Those receipts, those paid bills, I only needed to hang on to them for two years. After two years, the research has been done, those things are not needed any longer. So here's what happens is in February 21, 21, I get into this folder, I don't even need to go through anything. I just know this is a stack that can automatically be shredded, automatically be thrown away, whatever it is you wanna do with your old paper, and they're ready to go for the new year. So hopefully what you're hearing as you read between the lines on this is not only do I know exactly where I can put things, how to find it, and then when it's time to toss it, I also am not needing to make new folders each year because I can just reuse a folder from a previous year because it's screened to be emptied at the right time. Pretty exciting. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you when it comes to um, knowing when it's time to toss your paper is coming back to these orange files. Remember, these were the ones with the insurance policy. So let's say you're looking for exactly your insurance policy that you need, the current one. It's the only paper that's in this file. All right, so, but the name indicates that when I put a new one in, when I replace it, I'm removing the old one, remove, replace. So when my new insurance policy comes, I open it up, here's the old one. I don't need it anymore. I don't even have to think through it. I don't even have to ask any questions. I know I remove the old, replace the new, and I can get rid of the old one. So knowing how to get rid of your paper is super easy. Again, let's just refer to the permanent. In the permanent, we know we hang on to this for the life of the person or the life of the asset. So just a little bit of magic when it comes to Freedom Filer and how they make your filing so much easier. Okay, you guys, I want to help you understand how you get going with Freedom Filer. I don't know if you're like me, the second I heard of Freedom Filer and really could see the potential, I could not handle my old filing system. I couldn't go home and do it anymore. So I quickly ordered the Freedom Filer kit and I went to implement it and I was really overwhelmed. Let me show you what it, how it comes. So when you order it, it comes in a little kit like this and it has a booklet that has instructions and then it's full of these sheets of all different colors, some printed and some blank so that you can print your own. I had no idea where to start. It sat on my desk for several weeks and I realized I was gonna need some help. So I reached out and had a training session and you guys, one training session was all it took. My kit was made, I knew how to use it, I've never looked back and I can't even tell you how many people I've helped implement this system and they haven't looked back either. Even if you're not a person that's super into organizing, I can't tell you the peace of mind that comes from having your paper organized. Knowing you're going to be able to find what you need, you're not gonna to have to hassle with piles and stacks of paper. It's just a really comforting thing to have. This has been a huge success for a lot of my clients that have implemented it. So how do you get this in your home and working for you? Well, first, I'm going to provide a link for you that you can know how to order this kit. That's a great place to start, and I would suggest if you're interested to go ahead and order your kit. Let me tell you, when it comes, as I mentioned, it's got the booklet and the stickers, and that's, that's all it comes with. So as far as the folders, um, the little 
plastic tabs that you have to put the stickers in, those all need to be supplied by you and then you have to put it together. If you find yourself getting overwhelmed at that point, the good news is I can train you on this. And the even cooler news is, is that training is now available online. So we don't have to coordinate time that works for both of us. You pick the time that's convenient and I pop right on your computer screen and I step you through how to get that kit started. And let me tell you, it makes a huge difference. My clients who've been successful with it really have needed this training and it has really gotten them started a lot faster and helped them understand how to make it use for the, um, work for them. Okay, so that's what I've got for you today when it comes to Freedom Filer. Um, love, love this system. I know that this could make a huge difference for you when it comes to filing and to paper. I hope that these resources are helpful for you, the link for the kit and then the link for the training. And most of all, I just wanna bring you back full circle. You guys, all of these um, videos, all of these posts, all the reasons we connect, I think we all just kinda of have a vision, right? For what it is that we want in our life. I think we all wanna have an awesome life. And you know, there's a lot of components to having an awesome life, but I have found that when I am organized, I am free. I am free from chaos. I am free from clutter. I am free from overwhelm. And when I'm free from all of those things, I really do find that it is so much easier to live the kind of life that I always saw myself living. So whether it's paper or something else, I'll continue to be here to show you some different ways to get organized, but I hope that today this really does help you get some organization in your paper. I know it can make a big difference. All right, have a great day.